Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what new BlueFX filters Vegas Pro 15 has to offer. These come completely free when you do buy Vegas Pro 15, but before we get started, Vegas Pro 15 has now released a new build. As you can see straight away on my screen, this new build offers new support for AMD VCE hardware acceleration. It also offers quick improved rendering thanks to optimal memory usage and optimized playback from H.263 and ProRes files in the timeline. It also has lots of other new features added such as added an option to disable hardware acceleration when creating custom presets in Intel HEVC render plugin. It's also added a preference that enables you to bypass QSV hardware acceleration and operate without this technology. It's also added a link in the help menu to the Fagus community homepage where users can quickly access the Fagus user forum, tutorial videos and Fagus magazine. It's also done lots of new bug fixes as well. I will put a link in the description below to all these new bug fixes and features as I don't want to bore you too much just reading from a huge list. Anyway, let's get started and take a look at the new BlueFX filters. To do this, all you need to do is go across to Video FX, and you do need to have a video in your timeline to apply these filters. Once you are on the Video FX window, we now need to go down until we find the new Blue Filters folder, and we can now expand that folder. And there we go. These are all the filters that come with Vegas Pro 15. As you can see, there are lots of filters. And if we go into the first filter, which is Bleach Bypass, there will be lots of presets. As you can see, we have a Bleach Bypass, we have Bright Day, we have Dull, Gray Scale, and Vibrant Colors. I'm just going to go ahead and apply one of the presets. Let's go with Bright Day. Let's see if it can brighten up the day of this video. I'm just now going to simply click on the preset and drag it down to my video file. And there we go. And as you can see, it has actually brightened up that video quite a bit. That does actually look nice. I do love the new BlueFX filters. I find they make your videos so much better. Anyway, as you can see, we can adjust the preset settings by simply dragging this bar up and down. And on my preview window on the right hand side, you can see it's adjusting my video file, which is great. We also have another option here, which we can turn up and adjust. That actually makes it go gray. But yeah, I like that. That's that's really nice. To remove the filter, all we need to do is go to the right hand side here and simply click on remove selected plugin. And there we go, my video is back to normal. Let's have a look at another filter. We have color replace, blue to green. Okay, that, that could be cool. Let's have a little look. Oh, wow, okay, that's, that's pretty smart. I like that, it's actually adjusted the sky there and it's made it look green and it's also adjusted the bars at the top and the text on the right hand side. And we can also change the source color and the swap color as you can see here in all the settings, which is great. Lot, lots of different options there. I'm now going to go ahead and remove that plugin as well. And as you can see, there are lots of other presets. We have bluer sky. Let's see if it does actually make the sky a bit bluer. And yes, it did. But that does also affect our text, which you can see on the right hand side there. I'm now going to close that down and let's go down to color fast 2. Let's have a little look here. We've got lots of presets in here. Poison Ivy. Okay, let, let's apply that. Wow. Okay. Instead of looking at the same screen, let's kind of skip through a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think that's actually kind of the same shot there. Oh, we got a nice plane there in the background, as you can see. That that looks nice. We could actually play that as well. And yeah, lots going on there. 
lots indeed. Right, let's adjust that a little bit more. Let's go back to where the plane was by simply just clicking around. There we go. Let's remove that plugin. So to do this, all we need to do is simply click on the F button again on our video in the timeline. And we can now press remove. And there we go. Let's go down to day for night. Let's see what that does. Dark night, dawn, intent, moonlight. Let's try moonlight. Whoa. Okay. That's cool. That That's different, I must admit. Let's remove that plugin and let's try another one. Film color. Lots of different colors in there. As we can see, we've got ice. Cool. That changes that to that sort of effect. I like that. That's that's really nice. What else do we have? We have fish eye. Okay. Big face. Cool. So that does like kind of a zoomed in effect like, yeah, a fish eye. Like it's in a ball or something like that anyway. And that does actually look quite effective. Let's remove that and remove the color replace that we still have. As you can see, a lot of these effects really are enhancing our video. It's making it look, uh, well, it's basically making it look like I'm a professional when it comes to video editing. And that's what Vegas Pro 15 is all about. It It's a fantastic program that makes, well, lets you make your videos look really professional. But then I suppose Vegas Pro 15, it is a professional video editing program. Let's see what else we have. If you have never used Vegas Pro 15 or, well, any of the Vegas Pros, then I do highly recommend you try and do a trial on it or ask a friend if you can have a go on their computer because it really is worth the money. I think Vegas is a fantastic program. Let's see what else we have. We have Night Vision. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that... that makes it look like a bit of the old spec ops there a nice like you know yeah like i've got those goggles on and yeah night vision glasses or whatever you want to call them night vision goggles that's pretty cool actually i like that i may have to use that in one of my videos and well basically that is it for all the new blue fx filters like i said they do come with vegas pro 15 when you do purchase the program and yeah these plugins are absolutely fantastic there are lots of them and they will make your videos look really really good i must admit old tv ah oh, cool <laughs> yeah that's cool that's that's really cool but yeah, I hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.